Now, at that time, the BBC had a policy called needle drop time. It was a musician's union rule that meant they were only allowed to play a certain percentage of commercially released music in any given period of time. So in response to that rule, they had acts come into the BBC sound studios and record extra material from their repertoire that the BBC could then give airtime to. An ingenious plot. We were invited to do a BBC session as Matthew Sutherland and Comfort. We had three songs rehearsed and ready to go, but the powers that be wanted four. That week, I'd been to Musicland again, that was my favourite record shop, and I bought Joni Mitchell's Ladies of the Canyon. I took that album to the rehearsal room and said, guys, listen to this, you'll love it. I played them a song called Woodstock. The Matthew Southern Comfort recording of Woodstock entered the charts quite a while after Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young's version did. Ours was a slow burner. Uni, our rate label, were reluctant to release it until while Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young's version was off hovering in the lower regions of the top 50, threatening to move higher. But it didn't move higher. It sort of fizzled out. And that was when the Universal Machine flew into action. At first it took its time charting and then completely out of the blue, one of the BBC's flagship jocks, Tony Blackburn, made it his record of the week. <laughs> and it took off like a skyrocket, easing its way up to number 10 in the charts. And I thought, we're there. We've done it. We've got a top 10 hit. But the best was yet to come. It began selling in what I considered silly numbers. Management told us that it had gone from selling a thousand copies a day to 10,000 a day, and in its best week, it was selling upwards of 30,000 copies every day. That'd get you to number one for three years now. <laughs> <laughs> Ken and Alan, our management, called at me and said, hang on to something, Ian, because it's going to make a significant leap next week, quite a bit higher than number 10. When the chart was announced, we'd flown over everybody else, and we were number one. That week, we were invited to appear on top of the Pops, and it was a surreal experience. The kids in front of the stage were anticipating dancing to Frida Payne's Band of Gold, which had, re which had reached number one the previous week, when suddenly the DJ announces, it's number one, it's top of the Pops, it's Matthew Southern Comfort and a song called Woodstock. And all of the kids immediately stopped chatting mid-sentence and swiveled round to gape at us with a look of puzzlement on their faces, as though to say, who the hell are these guys? <laughs> By the second week on top of the pops, they knew exactly who we were. And they were dancing. <laughs> I came upon a child of God He was walking down the road When I asked him where you going This he told me He said I'm going down to Yazga's farm I think I'll join some rock and roll band I think I'll camp out on the land And I'll Try to set my soul free Cause we are stardust And we are golden And we've got to get ourselves Back to the garden Back to the garden Well can I walk beside you I just came here to lose the smog And now I feel just like a cog in something turning And maybe it's the time of year Ah, but maybe it's the time of man And I don't know who I am, but life's for learning We are we are golden and we've got to get ourselves back to the garden, back to the garden.
By the time we got to Woodstock They were half a million strong Everywhere there was songs and celebration And I dreamed I saw those big jet bombers Riding shotgun in the sky They were turning into butterflies Above our nation, we are stardust, we are golden, and we got to get ourselves back to the garden. We are stardust, we're caught in the devil's bargain. And we've got to get ourselves back to the garden, back to the garden. We've got to get back home, got to get back. Thank you. We'll, uh, we'll take a little break now, and uh, we brought some books for you. And CDs. CDs, yeah.